Surprise, the NVIDIA RTX 4060 is going to be launching a little bit sooner than most people expected, but why does NVIDIA have to lead with the DLSS numbers? Like, it's proven that gamers don't want to see that the GPU is twice as fast as the 3060, but then you have to see that it has frame generation there, DLSS. Gamers call it fake frames, and they're not calling it fake frames in sort of like a friendly manner. They're saying it in a way that they really want rasterization performance. I mean, I guess according to NVIDIA, it's 20% faster than the 3060, and this is going to be the cheapest GPU in the RTX 4000 series, so at least there's that. We're going to talk about some positives as well. I don't want to just be negative on this GPU, because at the end of the day, even if we feel like we're still getting shorted for the hardware that we should be getting, it's what's out there, and without more competition coming, it's going to be really tough to choose something else. First, when is this GPU coming. This GPU is supposed to be coming June 29th. That's going to be the launch date. Usually like 9 a.m. Eastern U.S. time, like Eastern New York time. That's usually when things start to go live, like if we're talking about on Newegg or different retailers. And currently the MSRP is $299, which makes it $100 cheaper than the RTX 4060 Ti. Now, it only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM, but at $300 and under, you can kind of accept, uh, you know, eight gigabytes of VRAM a little bit easier than some of these GPUs at $400 and above. Some of the less optimistic people will say this should be like a $200 GPU. Maybe it should be a 4050 in reality because, you know, the, the memory bus, all of the specs are less than we're used to. And you're only getting eight gigabytes of VRAM compared to 12 gigabytes of VRAM on the RTX 3060, as well as that had a wider memory memory bus. Now, Nvidia does counteract that by saying that the L2 cache is more on this GPU, which helps the overall bandwidth theoretically, but there are many cases where you may still become limited, even though at 1080p and the type of performance this GPU is putting out, certainly it isn't as big of a problem as on like the 4070 Ti having a worse memory bus, 4070, 4060 Ti, all those GPUs, some people will expect to play at 1440p, now with 4060, you're expected to use it at 1080p. You can use it at 1440p, but then you realize that it's gonna have a few more limitations and you have to sort of, you know, really control the settings that you're using. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, vip-cdkdeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate, and now, let's go back to the video. There's not that much else. I mean, you could look at the 7600 from AMD that they quickly dropped the price on. That probably was going to be around $300, but they dropped the price on. So now that's cheaper than the RTX 4060. And that's also going to have eight gigabytes of VRAM. So that's going to be another, you know, pretty big competitor. The other things you can look at are other GPUs that are also on the market already. If you look at the Intel Arc, the A7 70, maybe the special edition one with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Depending on the games you play, you really have to look into it because that GPU sometimes really performs very well. Other times it doesn't do so hot and it can be a little bit unstable. I have games that haven't even opened on it and had certain issues. So drivers are definitely going to be better on the NVIDIA and AMD side. Now, other GPUs, you could look at, you know, maybe like a used 6700 XT or even a new one for a pretty close price to the price of this new 4060. And that GPU was even outperforming the 4060 Ti. But the caveat here is you're not going to be getting the NVIDIA specific features if that's what you're after. Now, this is going to be the cheapest GPU with DLSS 3 with frame generation. So if you're playing games that specifically use that, then you may have a little bit of an advantage going over to the NVIDIA side. Not to mention the power draw, definitely going to be very impressive. It's going to be a lot less, the TDP, than the RTX 3060 was. So there's no doubt it's a very efficient GPU. Now, $299 definitely 
probably surprise to some people if they've been looking at the prices that Nvidia has had maybe the last year or two. But if you go back in the past, it still feels a little bit expensive for the specs that you're getting. This does feel like an RTX 4050. And that type of product stack uh, change makes sense with everything that Nvidia is doing. Everything from the 4070 Ti to the 4070 feels like it should be a little bit lower on the stack as Nvidia currently lists it. So we're going to see the actual reviews for the RTX 4060. I mean, at $300, I think it's probably going to sell, you know, uh, considering the current, you know, 40% less GPU sales and a bad slow market that we're in, I think it's going to sell relatively well. Even the AMD 7600 sold a lot better, I think, than AMD was, was expecting, simply because that's the, you know, newest GPU that's also the cheapest. And this is going to be the newest, cheapest NVIDIA GPU that's out for RTX. RTX 4000. So you can imagine somebody goes and, you know, does a build online or they walk into a local store. If you happen to have one, you are probably going to choose this GPU if every other option is really expensive. Like, you know, you're going to have to pay twice as much for an RTX 4070. Yet you're getting more performance for a 4070, but $600 to $300, that's actually a pretty big difference. I'd never actually, you know, thought about it twice as much like that like i you know the 4070 is obviously more expensive but when you put it in those terms are you really getting twice the amount of performance you're only getting 12 gigabytes of vram on the 4070 and yes it's going to be much better overall especially at 1440p but that's definitely a pretty heavy price premium that's why it makes me wonder if the 4070 really should have been 499 like a lot of people expect it to it hasn't really sold that well even though it seems to have up to this point selling a lot better than some people would expect because the 4060 Ti nobody really wants because of that 8 gigabyte of VRAM. 4070 at maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars more seemed like a much better alternative but now at three hundred dollars more than an RTX 4060 that's a big difference and the 4060 is going to make the 4060 Ti look even worse if the 4060 Ti was already kind of performing on par with a 3060 Ti really not that big of a difference sometimes it'd be a little better some games was kind of a wash you can imagine the 4060 if it's really 20 percent better than the 3060 maybe close enough to the 4060 ti that that hundred dollar difference is going to make a lot of difference for people shopping in sort of that range at the end of the day you're still getting the same eight, eight gigabytes of vram just going to be you know a little bit slower in general so remains to be seen what this gpu will be received that i think it might be a little bit better than the 4060 ti that one is definitely the worst one of the bunch it's not enough really to you know convince gamers to go out and buy it in huge numbers but i think it probably will sell because of its cheaper price and we have to see the performance we have to see is it performing a little bit better than we expect or is it basically closer to a 3060 than we really would like to think especially with that 8 to 12 gigabyte difference all right guys let me know what you think about this gpu down below remember to subscribe smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video